In this video, we're going to talk about context filtering. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And let's begin. Okay, we're going to start here uh, on the Tableau website, and it's really talking about context filtering. And there's a lot to read. Um, by all means, go through and read it. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple example using Microsoft Excel. So you can visually see what the filtering is doing. Primarily, though, context filtering is all about performance. Okay. When you're a beginner, most of the time your data sets are going to be relatively small. But after a while, you know, you get better, you get more skilled, you want to add more and more data, you're doing more and more joins, you're doing more and more filtering. And even though a single calculation could be microseconds in modern computers, when you have to do like a bajillion of them, it starts to take time, right? So context filtering uh, helps with that by reducing the amount of like internal calculations you have to do. So let me show you how it works. Let's head over to Microsoft Excel. Okay, we're here in Microsoft Excel, and let me just explain what we have. Imagine you only have one data set, okay? And this is the data set right here. It's two columns, you've got fruit and a quantity, right? And all I've done is I've duplicated it, right? But it's the same, it's the same data set. Okay, whenever you apply filtering in Tableau, it does it or what they call independently, meaning it does it on the entire data set, no matter what you've Done to it no matter what filters you already have it always applies it to the full set so let's say in this one i go i want to filter for badana right it has to go through every single row right so imagine the tableau is a little person you know kind of in the computer going all right row by row i have to check okay until i get banana okay cool i got a banana here all right let's give that a, a green another one and then they're going to filter this and then i give this little person a second filter i go i want you also to filter for anything uh, where the quantity is greater than 200. Now, they're not going to filter just the bananas, right? They're going to have to filter through the whole list again. So they have to go line by line. Okay, is this greater than 200? Yes. Is this greater than 200? No. This one? Yes. This one? This one? They have to go through the entire list, no matter what filtering I've already done to reduce the list. Okay, and then what it does is the final result is anything where both filters are true. So in this case, it's this row right here. So that's our final result. Now, for 12 rows, not a big deal. Imagine if this was 12 million or 120 million or 12 billion, right? Um, this takes a long time. So what we can do instead is if I duplicate this, right, we're going to get rid of the colors, right? And now we're going to introduce the, the idea of a context filter. Okay, so well, what happened to my border there. Let's just clean that up really quickly. Okay, so the context filter works like this. Let's say this first one, I'm going to do a context filter. Okay, and I say, give me anything with banana. It's like, all right, we're going to keep this, all right, we're going to exclude the rest. But we're also going to extend this filter to everything else we're going to filter. So basically, this disappears, right, all the way across. In the second stage filter, which is this one, it doesn't have to look through every row. It just has to look at what is remaining. So in this case, it only has to check two, uh, four items rather than 12. So you can see you've removed heaps of calculations you've, need to, you've needed to do. Okay, so that's how the context filter works. Let's head over to Tableau and I'll show you how to actually input it. All right, we're now here in Tableau. It's super simple how to apply a filter. And let's say I'm doing subcategory and I don't know product name right so I've got subcategory in here we'll leave it completely open and I've got product name in here right we use everything product is quite large so that's probably a good example okay let's say there's 10,000 in there um, instead of any filtering applying on 10,000 if I do a context filter first which is subcategory and let's say I only want to look in chairs Okay, what I can do is I can right click here and go add to context. What that does is this one, when I apply further filtering, it will only look in chairs. It won't look at any other data. So that's how it's going to improve performance. With that said, I hope you learned something. And if you did, drop me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, bye.